Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. This right here that you are seeing, I need to talk about this. Artists Till Death. If you don't know who they are, check them out. They're in the description of this video. Every month they hold a resin class. What happens is you go to their website, you buy a kit that has all the supplies in it to make whatever the theme is that month. So this month it's ocean wave. So the kit will include everything that you need to make this. Then they pick a day, which will be this Sunday for us. And they go live on YouTube and you create your painting along with them. It's a really fun experience. And I have been invited to join in this Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so for the East Coast people, that will be 9 p.m. our time. I'm really excited about this. Every month they have a different theme. Next month it will be, uh, I believe, fire. And it's with resin, obviously. But like I said, that kit hat comes with everything you need to make that painting that you just saw. So I will put the information below. Please join us Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to have some fun. So, on to my video. This is an oval, a 16 by 20 oval canvas. And I found this beautiful rose quartz paint made by Art Minds at Michael's. I thinned it down with some water and some Floetrol. And I'm just covering the canvas. We're going to do a Dutch pour. Which, speaking of, at the end of this video, I have included two very valuable tips to help you if you are struggling with the Dutch pour. So, all of the paints have been mixed with one part paint, one part Floetrol, and water to thin it down. Again, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how thin my paints are. I just did it at the end of the video for those that know how to do this so they don't have to, you know, watch it now. So stay tuned if you want to see that. So I poured the paint on the canvas and now I'm just blowing it around to cover my edges. So I want to take a moment to thank Miss Lori Fincer for the beautiful wooden butterfly she sent me and for the donation. Lori, thank you so very, very much. I am really excited to use that wooden butterfly with my muted violet paint. Uh, I would also like to thank Miss Joan Rose for her donation. Joan, thank you so very much. And Glass Creations, thank you so very much for your donations. And I thank all of you just for your support. Just by watching my videos and using my Amazon links, you help tremendously, and I truly appreciate it. There is nothing I love more in the world, besides my kids and family, and cats, of course, than creating art. And because of you, I am able to do that. So thank you very, very much. So let's talk colors. The first color I put down was Payne's Gray by Golden, then Ultramarine Blue by Golden. Uh, they are the fluid in the bottles, not to paint the, the fluid brand of Golden. That right there is a little bit of Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And then I also had a Metallic Sapphire from Art Minds also sold by Michaels. So I puddled them up. I added a little bit of muted uh, violet by Liquitex, my favorite color that Miss Lori sent me, and then topped it off with a little bit more of the Payne's Gray. And you're going to notice now I'm trying to do a Dutch pour, but only around the edges. I want to have a lot of negative space. So I turned my blow dryer on and bloop, that just happened. <laughs> right across the canvas, big mess, but I knew that I was gonna be designing in that area, so it wasn't a big deal at this point. 
But it's one of those things, you know, you think that the air is not going to be powerful enough and you get a little too close and off she goes. So I just took my time and placed paints in certain areas on the canvas where I wanted to create that fan-like structure. And in a minute here, you're going to see that I was able to get a really, really pretty design doing this even a regular dutch pour if you want to do you know let's say a triptych you don't have to blow it out all at once you can do your little puddles and blow one piece out at a time just take your time experiment and you'll get the hang of it eventually so i'm going to zip the lips right now and let you enjoy some quiet music for a few minutes and I'll be right back.
So now I'm going to pull out my airbrush. I love to do this. I love to define the edges and make them a little more wispier than what they are. And just do a little bit of fine tuning. This airbrush is in my Amazon shop. The link is in the description. Along with a lot of other items that I use. Uh, if you use my Amazon link to go to Amazon for anything, whether it be art supplies or a porta potty, <laughs> uh, my channel gets credit and I appreciate it. So that and all the coupons that I have for products to save you some chabos is in the description below. I think it's worth mentioning again that that background that pink rose the well the rose quartz it's called it is so soft and delicate and now I'm just using my finger to kind of you can if you get paint where you don't want it you can kind of just bop your finger on the top of it and it'll make it disappear so that's what you're seeing me do here where that splash was on the first blowout. Um, I'm just kind of fixing that up there. And now it's close-up time, and I really, really love how this came out. You know, it's different. The colors are really pretty, and I'll show it to you with the lights off also. So you can see that sterling silver and the metallic blue that I used shining bright like diamonds. So here is the lights off view. I really, really love this piece. I cannot wait to resin it. It is available for purchase uh, once it's dried and all that. So if you're interested, you can email me, artbytammy at yahoo.com. And yeah, it's just, I absolutely love the way it came out. All right, so I just want to give you a few helpful tips. Tips. <laughs> tips uh, regarding the Dutch pour. So ignore those numbers. I want to show you something. When you draw an S or write an S, would help if I had a pen that, that worked. When you draw or write an S, okay, it looks like that, right? When you're holding your blow dryer, I want you to think of it this way. Take your hand, hold the, the arm of the blow dryer, and I want you to do a backwards S with, the, with your wrist. That's the motion that you want to move your blow dryer in to get that nice 
fanning out. So instead of going like this, you're going like this. Okay. So you're starting where the puddle is and you're going to take the, if this is the blow dryer nozzle, you're going to go like this. Okay. And that will help you get it to flow, go with the flow better. That, and I also want to show you the consistency of my paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my ultramarine blue on this piece of paper, and I want you to pay attention to how fast it runs down the paper. Okay, here we go. So that is the consistency of my paint. I hope those two little tips helped. And thank you for watching, my friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all and happy pouring.